Ah, okay. Hey everyone and welcome. Finally, we have our first event of season 10. This is Apex Legends Evolution Collection event. We have been waiting desperately for something new in season 10 and it is finally here. I couldn't be any more excited. We're gonna watch the trailer today, react to the entire thing, probably break it down as well, but without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy. I cannot wait to see what is next. Here we go. Oh my God, look at the new town takeover. Look at the white crow, an albino crow. Evolution, baby. I needed a bigger shop. Ramparts getting the heirloom. I feel that a woman can transcend herself to a point where she can accomplish greater things than she thinks. Swift, strong, simple. He never ducks out of a fight. He doesn't care what the hell the odds are. And he's rough at times, but he tries to be a decent Dude, guy. Dude, look at the, the skins. Time. That's the way he's always lived. Is the PK coming back? Bloody amateurs. Don't you know I'm a bloody artist? <laughs> Bro, look at Rampart's skin. Rampart's big maraud. I think Rampart's getting a puff. She can walk with her turret. Limited time mode. Dude, look at the skins. Oh my goodness. Bit of a discount for all you loyal customers. New town takeover in arena or a new limited time mode in arenas? Dude, what? What the flip? Yes, okay, so it's all about blues. This prowler is ill of wounded. Sheesh, man. Damn, they okay. There is so much to talk about. I wow okay first uh, first impressions right off the bat the event looks cool tons and tons of new skins i think that's been one of people's biggest gripes to get like an insane amount of new skins like this is going to be really nice i can't wait the new town takeover looked really cool the big maraud or whatever the heck it was called that was very juicy and then all also uh rampart is getting the next heirloom she's getting a wrench which is crazy to think she outbeat watson and crypto and got an heirloom before them but yeah we're gonna break it down really quick i want to i want to go back and check out everything in detail because i feel like there's a ton of things we missed so the first thing i wanted to talk about was the white raven i just i don't really understand it to be honest i feel like it's got to have some deeper meaning because we all know arthur uh bloodhounds raven is all black so we got our first look here at the the wrench which i'm gonna try to get a better look at look at that man it's kind of crazy and it has a little gumball it shoots out no way it shoots out a gumball there i'm gonna go back and look at that one more time hold up look at that wrench man that's kind of crazy looking it's massive and it's big and red and then when she does this it oh you can kind of see it. it's got a little bolt hanging off the ends for like some aesthetic and then it shoots up the gumball right there this is a good look at her town takeover so it's like i don't even a big maraud whatever the heck that means but there's gra graffiti everywhere there's colorful smoke it's definitely a very rampart town it's completely covered in color which is super nice um we got a good look at her new wraith skin here very interesting wraith skin she kind of looks like an alien and then she's also carrying a sentinel skin there which kind of looks like a beetle at the end of the end of the gun. We're definitely getting a lot of like very colorful skins and a lot of skins that resemble bugs and nature. So I, I don't know what that means. We'll have to tell. I mean, only the future will tell. Go for it a little bit more. We had a good look at the Sentinel skin itself right there. And it's, it is a Sentinel because it literally says Sentinel on the gun. There's another look at the map. And then we get a new Pathfinder skin right there. Let me go back in our face with his little one. And bro, he's got a little bean head. He's got a bean head. And he's carrying the season three battle pass peacekeeper which was a level 100 reward i'm really curious as to whether or not they're going to bring that back we'll have to wait and see and then we got revenant skin that's from the last event but we do get a look at rampart's new skin right there good look at her pants she got like some juice running out so it's interesting she's she's turned it up right here so maybe you have the option 
to place it on a turret and then once it's turreted you can then take it off of the turret so that might be the buff Don't you know I'm a guns him down nice little ramparts it's cool skin not gonna lie so this is the whole town takeover here we're getting a good look at like everything inside it kind of looks like a is that an arcade there's like an arcade inside or something or oh no way so, so you see these little machines this is what i was talking about imagine you can go up to these machines and you could like put your weapons in here to like auto upgrade them or maybe you could like buy attachments or whatever you want out of these machines that would that's what i was suggesting when we saw the teasers for her and i i mean i hope that's what they did that's kind of what it's looking like right there they do look like they have the interactive pads. We got the outside of it. You can get on top of it and all that jazz. Another look at her skin right there. And then we got a uh, insane Bangalore skin over there. Are you seeing that with me? Look at her. Oh my lord. She looks nuts. I feel like right. Yeah, so we get another look at the lifeline. She kind of crouched down though, so it's kind of hard to see her. But crazy looking skins, man. And limited time cosmetics. We get the Bangalore, Octane, and Lifeline there. We got Octane right there. There he is. Look at him and all his robo glory. He's got like a robo suit on or whatnot. Kind of cool. Then we get Pathfinder, Wraith, and then Rampart in their skins. And then we even get, yeah, the Bangalore, Fuse, and then Lifeline. Very cool Fuse skin. That is super dope. He's like half shirtless and he's got cyborg stuff all over him he kind of looks like a scorpion i guess you could say and then we got the arena's takeover so what is this what is this arena's takeover man i don't understand there's golden rampage is, there? is it just gold guns inside of the arena's mode so i think it's just gold guns in arena's mode that you could buy so right here you have her ultimate and she pulls it straight out but it comes out onto her lap so maybe like instantly you pull it out and then you're, you're able to free run with it but then only after you have the option of being like okay maybe i want to mount up with it maybe if you mount you have 100 percent accuracy but with this there's going to be recoil that's yeah there's definitely recoil i could see it by the way she's shooting it there that's an absolutely massive buff but that's the evolution collection event man that is a massive buff but in this part right here, I'm confused. I'm very confused. This is Ill the White Raven, once again, I think that's the biggest question to the whole event. Um, on Twitter, they've been saying this next update is going to be packed with story and lore and just so much to talk about. So maybe we'll find out more then. But leave down in the comments your predictions on what the White Raven means, because... I mean, I, I'm pretty clueless, but yeah, very cool trailer, very cool event. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I can't wait for this. This is going to be coming on September 14th and I will be playing lots. So if you guys want to see more, uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like to help out the video. It's the best way to support the channel uh, alongside subscribing. And uh, it really helps the video reach new people. So if you guys made it to then, uh, leave a like. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.